Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I created this eye look using the new Mario Neutrals palette and the old Mario Master Mattes. And we're gonna jump right into the tutorial. If you're new and you love tutorials, be sure to subscribe, that's what my channel is all about. And we're gonna jump right into it. All right guys, today's look is inspired by Erica Jane's makeup during the reunion. She had a really nice dark gray smoked outer V with a warmer brown inner eyelid. I'm going to have that picture up here and I'm just going to take a quick look at the image. It is a really pretty but natural eye look. It's an all matte eye look so we're going to be using the Makeup by Mario palettes the new Neutrals palette and the older the Master Mats palette. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about makeup content, reviews, tutorials, demos, so be sure to subscribe and we're gonna jump right into it. To start, we're gonna prime our eyelids. I love the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealers to prime an eyelid for concealer. You can also use something like the NARS Pot Concealer. That's another good one. And I really like the Natasha Denona concealers. So I'm really... I like a really opaque concealer. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the Natasha Denona concealer. And I'm going to put this all over my eyelids. And then I'm going to blend this out with a sponge. I'm kind of going to connect them in between here and get my inner corner and connect over in the middle so that way there's not like a discoloration in the middle. Then we're going to set it with some setting powder. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever. This is the light vanilla setting powder. Go with my Ariel A14. I'm just going to tap this all over and set the eyelid. It is really, really important when doing eye looks to make sure you have a really good opaque base. And using a concealer with a setting powder is going to help your eyeshadow adhere to your eyelid. And I'm going to set the in-between part. And there we go. So in her picture, she had a really crisp line, but it was like blended out at the end. So I'm gonna go in with some of this Catrice tape and apply it to my outer V area. And it's really important to make sure that they match. I think this one needs to go in a little more. So we're gonna look a little crazy. All right, so you're gonna look a little crazy, but we want to have nice crisp edges. I'm gonna start with the Master Mattes palette and I wanna go with that second shade right there. That is like my go-to everyday crease shade. And I'm gonna use the Sigma E35 blending brush. And I'm gonna blend this right into my crease, blending it high up into my brow. And I just wanna add some definition and warmth in up my crease area. So now I have that, I'm going to take the ColourPop E16 blending brush and I'm going to dip into the Cool Tone palette, the Neutrals palette, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take this shade, which is number four. I'm going to blend that here into the lower crease. All right, so now I have this nice crease area. Same brush, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is number five, on the ColourPop E16, and I'm going to blend that into the outer V area, up into the crease slightly as well. And since this is going to be a messy look, I'm not wearing any foundation. So next, I'm just going to take an Ariel A29, a brush that looks like that. And I'm going to take a darker shade. I'm going to take that darkest shade right below there, which would be for 9. I'm going to run that here along the line. I'm really darkening up that area. So we have this nice dark outer V that is matte. 
And I want to get some gray in there because I feel like she has some gray and I have not touched the gray in this palette. So I'm going to take one of my eyeliner brushes that looks like this. I'm going to dip into this gray and I'm going to just like line. Like a little bit like I'm doing liner and then bring it across. That gray is so pretty. And then I'm gonna just bring the gray on the other eye along the line. Line it across the lash line. And that is looking very, very cute. I love it so far, so good. Okay, I feel like I'm really recreating her look. And then I kind of want this one this one looks so good. This one, I'm like, what the hell is going on? All right, so then I'm going to take this palette and I'm going to take a brush like this. This is an Aria, I'm oh, not sorry, this is a Morphe JH41. It looks like that. And I, she went in with a really orangey tone, but I want it to be like, actually, I'm going to go with this third one. I'm going to go with that one, the third one. And I'm going to put that here. I think it's a little bit oranger than this. If I'm not mistaken, that was like a really orangey looking. I don't want to bring it too far over. I feel like this eye looks like it and this eye doesn't now. So I think I need to go back in and do just like darken this up this brush again and just kind of blend these out make sure this is staying nice and dark just gonna take a look at her picture one more time i want to take this gray again and go back over my lash line and i just want to go back in with this shade on the ariel i29 on this side and just kind of Darken up this area again. Looking at like that. So let's remove the tape and see what we got. Ooh. Looks nice. Oh no, looks like it wasn't quite. There we go. I'm just gonna clean them up. And now I'm just gonna take make sure like everything's kind of like uniform. But overall. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup. All right, now, so to finish this look, we're gonna finish the bottom lash line. So her lash line looks pretty subtle. It just kind of looks like there's a little bit of gray down there and it's blended and yeah, so it doesn't look like anything crazy. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take whatever is left on the eyeliner brush, that gray, and I'm just gonna kind of drag it around here to darken up this area without being super harsh, more of a natural smoke look. And I think that's looking pretty nice. And I just wanna take this side and just kind of blend here along the edges so everything kind of... And so far, I like the way this looks. Like I don't want anything super, super crazy on the bottom lash line besides just some mascara and some of this. All right, so then I'm gonna take, it looks like she has a shimmery inner corner highlight that's pretty vibrant. So I'm gonna take this, it's the Gwen Stefani brand highlighter. I love this highlighter for an inner corner highlight. I love this highlighter. I've heard lots of people say they don't like this highlighter. And I don't understand, because I think it's just so great, especially for the inner corner. Like it's enough, but it's not like an overkill. So I'm gonna take this small ColourPop brush, this is the E21. Just gonna kind of dip into all these little shades and then I'm gonna just tap this in here. I'm just gonna take that brush we used earlier and I'm gonna dip into, I'm gonna take that brush we used earlier, I'm gonna dip into the lightest shade in the neutrals palette, tap it off here. Just to give my brow a little highlight, but nothing 
And then I'm going to apply some mascara. And then I'm going to apply some false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. These are the Ardell Straight Wispies. I absolutely love the Wispies. And so I'm going to actually apply some nude eyeliner. This is the Essence Nude Eyeliner to my bottom waterline. All the products I use will be linked below. So I don't want it to be like so harsh, but I do want something on my bottom waterline. And then I'll apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Alright guys, and that completes this look. Mm -hmm.